Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry that I've been missing in action for a while, but we have been so busy working in the garden, which I hope to share with you a bit in this video. So I wanted to share a day in the life. I had such a busy day yesterday, getting things done, but also spending time with the family. I like to get up and immediately get some washing going, always got stacks of washing and I make my morning coffee. Just a simple instant coffee. Emily loves having fruit and yogurt for her breakfast and she is always, always reading. I tend to have different things for breakfast. I get bored quite easily. So today I am having some instant oats, which I make up with milk in the microwave. So easy. And I mix that with some raisins. It's actually a really quite gloomy day. So I just fancied a nice warm breakfast. Before I go up um, and get dressed and have a wash and things, I also like to just start thinking about what we're having for dinner so I'm going to cook a chicken which I often do on Sunday I'll cook a piece of meat that we will have during the week I very simply spray it with some light cooking spray all over and then this time I am using a marinade a garlic and herb marinade from Aldi I do like to take it out of the oven and rebaste it during the cooking time but I tend to find that the chicken itself gives up so much fat so I don't need to add too much. I cover the chicken and it will be cooked in an hour and a half whilst I go and get ready and do a bit of cleaning upstairs. As this is a Sunday I'm just doing my meal plan. I always think about how I am going to use the protein that I cook on a Sunday during the week to make my week easy. We tend to do a salad on a Monday to sort of use up the meat that I've cooked. And I tend to do pasta about twice a week. And I think about what I need to use up. So in this case, we will have pasta on the Tuesday and on the Thursday, and I'm just deciding here what I'm going to make um, and decided to do one of my son's favourites, spaghetti bolognese. And then I'll mix up the carbohydrate on a Wednesday and do a risotto. I do find this, it makes things so much easier. I know what to get out of the freezer. I know what to expect that week and I don't have to keep telling the kids what we're having for dinner. The chicken turned out so nicely. Um, it was really juicy and it makes things so much easier during the week when I've cooked the meat at the weekend. So Emily decided that she wanted to do some baking with me today, which was lovely because it was actually raining um, by this point and, and it was quite dreary outside. Decided to cook some chocolate brownies and it's a children's recipe, one that uh, we hadn't actually tried before, but it did turn out um, really nicely. I like Emily to certainly be as independent as possible with measuring all of the ingredients and getting everything that, that we need because I just think it's important for her that she is learning to be confident to do these things for herself. My arm's tired! <laughs> stop it? Here I'm just helping her smooth out the brownies in the tin and my goodness the mixture tasted so nice as you can see from Emily's face. I also decided to make some flapjacks as they are just such a favourite in our family and great to have it in the tin but Emily had abandoned me by this point and gone to watch a Sunday afternoon film. 
I have shared this recipe on my channel before so I will share a link in the description box below. And this is how they turned out. The brownies were absolutely delicious but incredibly rich so I cut them into really small pieces and the flapjacks were delicious and absolutely perfect to have with my afternoon coffee. I also decided to do some sewing this afternoon. Um, I had some curtains that had been hanging around for a while that I bought from Ikea to go on the patio doors in the kitchen and I thought I would take the opportunity to hem them properly using the sewing machine. I really love sewing but I don't really have a lot of time to do it. It is something that I would really like to do more of in the future. This is me just hanging the curtains in the kitchen. It's just temporary on a piece of net cord. Very, very simple because it's not a curtain that I want to have up all of the time. It's just during the summer when the sun beats through that window so strong and we just wanted to have something just to make that a bit more comfortable in the kitchen without spending a lot of money. I also wanted to share some of the projects that we have been working on. So the garden has been a really big project. We are having a workshop fitted in a couple of weeks and we have been working on the site for probably about a month. Weekends, evenings, we've had to excavate the site, dig it down, get ready for hardcore, prepare all the fences. It's been a really big job. My husband and I have been digging the trench for the electrics, which will go from the house all the way up to the workshop. So that had to be at least 40 centimeters to meet the regulations. So we did that and then the next job was digging out. So we have dug out tons of soil and gravel from the site. One of the things I had to come to terms with was that my veggie patch had to go. I have made a really big planter and I intend to make some more so that I can continue to grow vegetables, but it needed to be moved from this site. So it took me a few days to come to terms with it, but eventually I got on with moving the veg patch and digging up any of the vegetables that I could. We also needed to prepare the fences and I wanted to paint them all and make them all the same. So I invested in this paint sprayer and it is absolutely brilliant. A job that would have taken me probably days to do. I managed to do the whole garden within a couple of days and that's two coats and sometimes three in places. It's such a brilliant tool. I'm going to leave a link to it. Um, I got it from Amazon. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description box below. It is amazing. It did involve taking all of the trellis down, all of the climbing plants, but I've managed to do it. I, I used a piece of wood to protect the plants so that I wouldn't paint them and it just worked so well. It was a really quick process um, and I actually really enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to using my sprayer on other things in the future. So here's a quick shot of the vegetable planter that I made and all of the fences are now painted with two coats. All of the plants have also come up so well this year. I haven't really recorded any footage of some of the plants that I've put in but this year I have put in these beautiful bell flowers and Emily's right in front of them. And I've also put in um, foxgloves and hollyhocks and other clematis. And I just absolutely love the colours against the dark of the fence. Um, it's a cupronol urban slate colour and I'll put, again, I'll put a link to that in a description box below. So here is the site ready now for the workshop. It's had three tons of scalpings put down, which my husband um, used a whacker plate to whack down this weekend. So it's all ready for the workshop to be delivered and installed 
within the next week or so. So back to my day, I'm just serving up a roast dinner for the family. It might be summer, but it's been a bit of a gloomy day, so I've done a chicken roast dinner. You want to see my car cook? <laughs> <laughs> no, let's not have an Andrew of course, Kate. But it's not an inch. I won't have any in. Mm, Don't you parkour in here? I'm doing it in here. <laughs> Why are you suddenly doing parkour, eh? What have you seen it on? Thank you guys for watching. If you're not a subscriber, then please click on the subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye!